Welcome to the Heart of New York show. Today is a very special show that we have with a man named Vince Martell, and he's now with Vanilla Fudge lead guitarist. Okay, hi. I'm here with Dennis Zolo. They make their pizzas from scratch. So people come from all over just to try their pizza. Hi, it's Peter Hart. I'm standing with Chris Williams. Let me tell you a story. I'm watching the Channel 7 News one day, and all of a sudden there's the President of the United States, and who's standing next to him? <laughs> but Chris. And I'm saying to my wife, Angela, I said, Angela, is that Chris Williams of William I. Works standing next to the President in the White House? Can you tell us about that? Uh, that was uh, uh, probably one of the most thrilling things I've ever done. I was sitting in my office one Tuesday morning, and my son walks in and says, Dad, the White House is on the phone for you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do with the Boy Scouts? Uh, Boy Scouts, I've been revived with the Boy Scouts for oh, about 20 years. Hi, I'm sitting here with Naeem, the owner of Nino's Barbershop. Very few times I've walked into uh, a barbershop where I felt calm, relaxed, and know that the service is going to be excellent. So welcome, Naeem. Hi, I'm uh, Naeem Limani. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm watching TV one night, and who do I see come up on Blue Bloods? But his restaurant. That's right, right. there. Four years ago, Four years. August. It was, it was a, definitely a great experience. How exciting is that? Anyway, you got to go there. That's great. Yeah. You're constantly revolving around the times and the seasons. Yeah, you always have to. Do you do eyebrows? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> and makeup. Uh, and makeup. Oh, boy. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Ann, for coming by. Part on Spotlight on Biz here talking to Dr. Sly right here. Not only that, his heart is so big, he has done tremendous help with 9-11. What, what can you say is the most inspirational story you had on helping of one particular dog. What's inspirational is that how it was how dedicated the dogs were. Um, we had to actually hide people, live people in in the rubble, so the dogs could find them. So they would, they would be so depressed because they were getting depressed. They weren't the, finding anything. The dogs were getting depressed because they weren't finding anything. Oh my goodness! Yes. And so many people think that dogs don't have feelings, no, but they do. They have feelings. We got a whole wall here. Uh, I'm not talking to the person who hit rock bottom. I'm not talking to the person who hit rock bottom and then we found out there was a trap door. I'm talking to the person who hit rock bottom, went through the trap door, and then went through a threading machine. There is no higher calling than that. It's a beautiful thing. How, how do you tell these people that are down and out so they don't have to go reach for a bottle, they don't have to go reach for a pill? What is it they're supposed to do at their time? Right now, I'd like to open up with him and his wife, Peg, to sing a few songs. Hi, I'm Peter Hart. Go. It could be one of the most interesting shows that you ever watch. My friend is blind at this time. And not only that, this man reaches out and helps countless number of people. I gotta tell you, the best thing you could do is go help someone. Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Peter Hart and I'm here with my buddy Don Schmidt again. We're gonna have um, Vince Martell and Peg Pearl sing a couple of more songs for us. I wanna thank you all for watching tonight. As, as uh, my good friend Vince here said that it's time. <laughs> How was the food there? Uh, they didn't give us any food, unfortunately. They gave us some cookies and, and some water. <laughs> That's good enough, but you're in the White House. We're in the White House, and they did a... I sat in the president's chair. <laughs> I tell you, how else can you get in the White House? But you got to be a man like Chris Wayne.